everyone, so today I have a super easy project for you guys to try out. The best part is this project is so inexpensive. I bought my puzzle pieces at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I bought my frame at Walmart for 97 cents. Um, I printed my picture at home. I created it on my Photoshop, printed it, so that cost me nothing. And I used a piece of thick felt board for backing and that cost $1.97 at Walmart. If you'll check my blog out, I'll have links to all of the products that I used for this project. And also, there are some notes to make this a more kid-friendly project as well in the blog. So if you'd like to make this a more kid-friendly project, check out the blog post uh, so that you can see the adjustments that you need to make. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys how to make this heart photo frame from puzzle pieces. To start, we're gonna take our frame and go ahead and spray it with our chrome spray paint, finishing both the front and the back side. Then we are going to take our puzzle pieces and spray those with the chrome spray paint as well, making sure to spray the finished side of your puzzle pieces. Then we're going to line up the puzzle pieces onto our frame so that the flat pieces of the puzzle go around the inner part of the heart. This way we don't have any of the pieces of puzzle obstructing the view of the picture that you're going to use on the inside of your photo frame. Once you have everything lined up the way you like it, go ahead and start using your hot glue or whatever glue of choice you want to use and glue it down to your frame. You're going to want to make sure while you're using hot glue that you remove any of the hot glue strings that may be left behind. We're going to end up spray painting this once more uh, towards the end of the project and you don't want those hot glue strings showing up. So go ahead and work your way outward to the outer edges of your frame and lay your pieces down. It's okay to have anything hanging over right now because we're going to take care of that here shortly. And you can cut pieces to fit if you would like. Once you get your puzzle completely covered with the pieces that you want on your very first layer, we are going to end up going and flipping the puzzle over and we are going to use an X-Acto knife. And we are going to cut away anything hanging over the edges. This is going to give it a more clean cut look. Now it is time to start adding more pieces of puzzles onto your frame. You can add as many layers as you like or as few layers as you like. I personally like to have several layers so that it kind of covers up the original wood frame in behind. And you'll see that I'm using my, my heel of my hand to press some of these down because the paint was allowing my fingerprint to show up, I guess the heat from the hot glue was doing this. So we are going to spray paint it anyways, so it doesn't really matter if your fingerprints show up. Like I said, we're going to add a second layer of spray paint to this. Here you will see that I'm just throwing on one last coat of chrome spray paint to finish off the look of the frame. Now, after I've finished this, I actually made a printable online using Photoshop. You'll find that in the link below if you'd like to download that. So I went ahead and cut out a piece of felt board for the back to help hold that in and make it a little bit more secure. And you can see here where I have added that in. I just cut it and then pushed it right on in. It was pretty easy. So yeah, and that holds it in really nice. This I think completes our frame and it's really beautiful and it looks nice and it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video for more crafting tutorials. Till next time. Bye guys.